Morning, morning, morning. English Monday. This week for English, I have mixed it up a little bit. As I've explained on the Year 5 blog post, um, we've done lots of writing for a couple of weeks now, a good couple of weeks, some stories, newspaper, followed by some more stories. And I have to say, the stories after the newspaper stepped up a level. I think we got our brains in gear and I've really enjoyed reading some of them, hence why I've been putting them on the, some on the blog. Um, but I thought we'd pause on that, try and keep it fresh for myself as well. Um, so this week is just a recap of the features that we've looked at when writing. And the write these features appear across everything. These are just basic writing features, okay? So it's toolkits. Have a look at the do now first though. So verb forms, we ain't or we aren't going to dinner would be we aren't. Dave weren't or Dave wasn't behaving. Dave wasn't behaving, because that's uh, singular. Were would be plural. Use the verb form of drive. It can't be Dave drive his Ferrari. Dave drives his Ferrari into the back of a lorry. Could be drives, if it's present tense. Dave drives his Ferrari into the back of a lorry. Uh, Dave drove. Depends if you want to put past or present tense there. So the tense, may, uh, you can have two there. Use a verb form of push. Mr. Cooper was pushed for an answer. Mr. Cooper was pushing for an answer. Or Mr. Cooper was pushed for an answer. So it could be that I was trying to answer, uh, I was being made to answer. So you could have push or pushing, which is correct. Mr. Cooper's shoes were smart. Mr. Cooper's shoes were smart. Obviously, it's that one there. That's a common error that it goes in that, in that word there. What type of apostrophe is this? Mrs. Croft should have remembered her coat. It's not a possessive. Because it, it, the remember isn't doesn't belong to the should. It's a contractive apostrophe. It should be should have. Not should of. Should have. And then correct this. Scrooge and men worked hard all day, comma, but they weren't allowed a day off. You should have singular possessive apostrophe there and a contractive one there. Hopefully, you're recognising a lot of these ones. I've thrown this one in as a, as a recap one. And then, new section, commas. So remember commas for lists, coordinating conjunctions, for instance, verbial openers, uh, speech. So there's, there's many things here. Mrs. Conan was cooking sausages, but she forgot to turn the grill on. Coordinating conjunction. Comma goes there. Because Mrs. Conan was cooking sausages is an independent clause. She forgot to turn the grill on is another independent clause. So the butters link them both. When we are allowed... I'm going to play cricket, get a coffee, and go to the garden centre. So, when we are allowed, comma, because that's a front of verbial, it's time. When we are allowed. Alright? It's not a clause on its own, an independent clause on its own. It doesn't make sense on its own. And then I've list, listed some things. I'm going to play cricket, comma, get a coffee, comma, and go to the garden centre. Last one. Now, this is probably the one that's going to catch you out a bit. Good morning, Year 5, announced Mr. Cooper. There should be a comma after the 5 to show that the speech isn't the end of the sentence. You've got a command clause coming. You've got a clause telling you who said it or how they said it or what they've done afterwards. You should also have a comma after good morning because it's it's you're, it's you're it's like a welcome and then you say the name. It's a bit like uh, when we did this for A Christmas Carol, interjections. Oh, Mr. Cooper. You would have an O oh and then a comma. Okay, so good morning, Gear 5, announced Mr. Cooper. Lovely. On to what I want you to do this week. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to use the pad or not to write things down. I'm not sure yet. I might, I might change my mind as we're going with this. So, writing features. Like I've already said, we're going to be looking at toolkits this week. There's an acquire, fine, and a practice apply for each of these. And on most of them, I've put a little um, sort of success criteria. I don't think I've put them on all of them, though. But the first few, just to help you to understand what we're looking at. So, just a quick recap of conjunctions. A lot of you, when you were writing, were still missing some commas for very basic conjunctions that were very obvious. Okay, so we're having a little recap here. So remember, use coordinate or subordinate, subordinate conjunction to add another main clause to the ones below. So, subord coordinating conjunctions link two main clauses together. Subordinate conjunction links a subordinate clause, which is not the same as a which is not the same 
as a main clause, okay? So, if you need a bit of help, and I've just realised I haven't uploaded it, um, there is the fanboys and a white bush sheets on um, one of the weeks of the blog. You might want to go and find them. The reason I've not put it on, the reason I didn't, is because I, you know, I want us to be remembering this, all right? But if you do need it, you might have to go back a bit and find uh, the fanboys and a white bush sheets. So, all you have to do here is write out the first bit, and then in brackets I've told you what type of conjunction you need. So children from Tot Totley don't eat. So coordinate conjunction, you need a fanboy. Uh, but, so, and, but it needs to be another main clause. So children from Totley don't eat, comma, so, and then you can make a bit of a silly sentence up. Okay, but it's got to work on its own. Um, maybe it's but, maybe it can be, but they drink three pints of milk a day. They drink three pints of milk a day is an independent clause. Uh, Mr. Cooper hadn't cut his hair for seven weeks, subordinate conjunction. So now you need a subordinate conjunction, as, because, so Mr. Cooper, that's an easy one. Mr. Cooper hadn't cut his hair for seven weeks because there was a lockdown. Because there was a lockdown isn't an independent clause. That is not a sentence that makes sense on its own. Because it is a lockdown. Or because what's a lockdown? Okay. So remember, that is the main difference with coordinate and subordinate. Coordinate can be a sentence on its own. Subordinate is a subordinate clause. It is not complete. Only dragons with a full medical... You, I got a bit silly here quite quickly. Only dragons with a full medical record can cross the border. Subordinate conjunction. So you can be silly with these, okay? So have a look at that for us. And then you've got a bit of a green pen. Yeah, obviously, I've got green pens, but like a challenge. With the sentences containing co subordinate conjunctions, can you rearrange the sentence to start with the clause? So what did I say here? Because there was a lockdown. So Mr. Cooper hadn't cut his hair for seven weeks because there was a lockdown. Don't forget, no comma there. You know what? I am going to write this down. I've decided. These videos are long today, but it's because I've got some tasty teaching. Right, so, let's get the first two down. Ignore my handwriting. Children, I'm rushing so it, this video doesn't take ages. Children from Tutley don't need to eat, um, but they do need No, I'm not going to have the do. But they need at least um, five pints of milk. I don't know, a bit of a strange one. So, I've used the fanboy but, and I need a comma for my coordinate conjunction. They need at least five pints of milk is a sentence on its own. Okay? The next one, I should have written these before the video, my apologies. Cut his hair for seven weeks. This pen is really nice. I'm going to say because is a subordinate, so that's the coordinate one. Because is the subordinate. Uh, Lockdown. There we go. So, subordinate conjunctions do not have a comma after the main clause. The challenge, can you rearrange the sentence to start with the subordinate clause? Because remember, because of the lockdown is the subordinate clause, because you've got your subordinate conjunction. Okay. The challenge would be, and we've all done this in class, and we've all done this very well and very quick. Because of the lockdown, comma, because the subordinate conjunction is at the start, and then you just write the main clause. Mr. Cooper hadn't blah, 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 blah. And you just write that bit, because that's the main clause, okay? And you do that with all of them. So can you, if it works, you'll have, you'll have, made, you'll have picked a subordinate conjunction that works so that it can go, the whole clause can go at the start, okay? I've written that out just in case some of you've forgotten, just in case some parents might need to just have a quick visual look at that. But I have to say this year five, this was something we did like week one of year five, 
as a recap because this is doing your three and four. Okay, so you should be able to do that. Um, the next bit, ooh, the practice apply. Videos are getting really long, aren't they? Um, now write five of your own sentences. They can all be about different things. They don't have to link at all, but they must include a coordinating or subordinating clause. Uh, sub subordinate conjunction or subord or subordinating clause. Sorry, you can't have a coordinating clause. Which is added with and because as for and whilst. I've given you the conjunctions. So we've got a coordinate, a subordinate, subordinate, coordinate, subordinate. Okay. Up to you. What you write about can be absolutely silly. Uh, it can be um, Mr. Cooper dressed up as Humpty Dumpty as it was World Book Day. That's not actually that silly to be fair. Um, so. Your practice apply shouldn't take you too long, okay? Sorry for the uh, longer video, but this week I've tried to give you things that require a little bit more import, a little bit more teaching. I'm missing it a little bit. So, have a go with that. Like I said, none of this is new today. Actually, none of this week is new for English. So, get cracking.